mamas and papas, mamas and papas. Mamas and papas, get fit for your kids. <laughs> hey there, and welcome to the Monday Mooch episode one in the mamas and papas group, okay? So this will be a reoccurring thing every Monday. Now today we're a little bit late, I'm really sorry about that, but 10.30 every Monday normally, okay? So that will go into the units tab on the actual page so that they can be rewatched whenever, so I'll get that done. Now, I always like to start these with a few shout outs for some clients and maybe even some people that are sharing into the group, okay? So first of all, Lisa, which is an ongoing coaching client. This morning, I set you those home workouts and I got up at 6 a.m. and by 6.15, you'd already smashed a workout. So well done, Lisa, for getting that done. Just another reason why that gym closing can't get you down and I'm really proud of you, okay? So that's one shout out. We then have Tammy, who was nervous about that gym shutting, but she's massively turned this around, massively turned this around and she's changed that mindset and I, I thank you for that workout this morning and that share into the group, so good stuff. Kerry Ann, Kerry Ann, big one. She has mastered her Sunday survival kit, okay? That is her Sunday kit that helps her smash her week, okay? And on your coaching plan, that was a biggie. And I'm, I'm really pleased that we've been able to nail that down and get it done, okay? Other than that, everyone else in the group that has just started that five-day challenge, which is two to three pounds lost in five days, I thank you so much for updating that level up sheet. It has been amazing this morning. If anyone's having any troubles opening that sheet, send over your figures to me and I'll put them in. Uh, it's normally an iPhone that struggles with it for some reason. I don't know why. But other than that, we're going to get in to today's lesson, okay? Now, the heading of the lesson was diets. Why they all work and that why they don't, you know? So what I want to dig into is the amount of diets. And first of all, I want to start off with a little story. Now, what did I call them? Tory. We're going to go with a, a couple, yeah? Tory and let's say Dave, okay? Right. Tory and Dave have just become parents, okay? Let's take Tory, mum, here now, yeah? Mum is literally just become a new mum, okay? You've got nighttime feeds, you've got the baby wants looking after and everything like that. Now, we've just had a baby. Life is a little bit hectic. And we end up going for the grab it life because we all do. So Tori, over time, she's grabbing the chicken dinosaur. She's grabbing this. She's just getting any convenience food there is. And, and she's not doing it on purpose. She's become a new mum. And life is a little bit hectic and it happens to all of us. So I'm not going to put Tori down. She's doing what we all do, okay? But over time... Tori's noticed after having this baby that the weight has started to come on pound for pound, bless her. You know, and I feel for her, okay? Now, let's go on to Dave, okay? Dave's had his two weeks paternity. He's spent some time with that little baby and uh, he's got to go back to work. He does 12-hour night shifts, poor lad. Now, he's getting home from 12-hour night shift and he's, he's sharing those night feeds with Tori and he's, he's tired, so he's living what I call the grab and go life. He'll grab a, a meal deal with an unhealthy sandwich. He'll grab whatever's in the canteen at work. He'll grab, okay? And also in Dave's situation, he's noticed the pounds coming on and coming on. And it's because he's a busy dad, yeah? He's thinking about that baby the same as Tori's thinking about that baby. So they've both just decided to go with the grab and go life, which is okay. We've all done it, okay? But one day, Tori and Dave, they're sitting in the room together and they're like, we'll let it go, aren't we? They're like, yeah, we'll let it go. What should we do, Tori? I don't know, what should we do, Dave? We've got to sort this out. So Tori and Dave, they, they speak to a few friends. They see what's, what's working for Mandy. They see what's working for Tina. See what's her happening with Phil. 
Phil's doing the 800 diet shred, okay? Mandy's doing the vegan strip back. I uh, can't remember the other one that I said, Tina. Tina's doing Slimming World or Weight Watchers. And they're like, right, they're getting some amazing results. They're getting some amazing results. So they choose one of these diets. I'm not going to say which one, whichever one. They're all, they're all diets, okay? And they notice they're, they're stripping back some, some fat, they're, they're losing some, some weight, and they're getting some good results, okay? All right? And then it stops. All of a sudden, that diet that Tina was on, that diet, diet that they were on, it stopped working for me. And this is the normal progression of, of the diets that are out there. It doesn't matter whether it's keto, it doesn't matter of what diet. We're talking all the diets, because that's what we're talking about today. So what happens with Tori and Dave? Tori and Dave go, oh, it's not working. It's not working anymore, Tori. Oh no, Dave, it's not working, Dave, is it? So what do they do? They have a kebab Saturday, which perfectly normal. This is our fall off area, okay? And this is what all those diets are based on, okay? And this is why I wanted to do this as my first video. Doesn't mean they're the wrong diet, they are at all, okay? And this is how I would like everyone to structure their diets. What works for you? Intermittent fasting, keto, uh, slimming well, weight watchers. They're all short-term fixes, I say. They're all short-term fixes, okay? What should work is assessing your calories, Seeing what powers that machine, seeing what runs it, and not restricting those calories too much. Because you need to search for something that's long term rather than short term. Now, if you've done Slimming World, if you've done Weight Watchers, and you've fallen off before and put the weight back on, I want you to put down below the word relate. Okay? Relate. Now, the story before with Tori and Dave. If you've become a parent, if you've stopped taking care of yourself as a parent because you were busy, I want you to put down below, relate. Because as parents, we've all done it, okay? But the time has changed. We need to start looking after ourselves, not just for us, but for those kids as well. And we need to set those cogs in place to make sure that we edu educate our kids what nutrition is and why we eat the things we do. So that is the reason why all diets work or don't work. And that's the reason why I wanted to name this that, okay? All diets do work, but they come to a fall off area, okay? Now, wouldn't it be good if those diets didn't come to a fall off area? Wouldn't it be good if we could get into a certain situation where we still live our normal lives as parents, where we still treat ourselves, where we don't go hungry? but still get our bodies in a nice, healthy place, yeah? We'd be stripped of fat, we'd be able to chase those kids, we'd be running away from heart disease, we'd be running away from diabetes, and we wouldn't be living a miserable life of restricting to 800 to 1,200 calories in some of these diets, okay? So I want you to take that away from this, this training, that all diets do work because every diet every diet what do they have in common a calorie a calorie under okay I've forgotten the name I've forgotten the word lower calories every every diet has lower calories yeah whether it's 800 calories 1200 calories 1500 calories doesn't matter whether you're eating fats proteins carbs they all have the same thing in common if you're going to choose one of these diets that restricts your calories don't think about what happened at work for tina or this person or that person because that may not fit your life you need to sit there and look at your life and how you're set up and choose the diet that's right for you and how your world works so if you're a busy parent in the morning and you haven't got time to eat in the morning, intermittent fasting. If you're a parent that doesn't eat that many carbs, 
and can go without alcohol, go for keto. If you're a parent that likes their carbs and likes their protein, go for macros. There's so many diets out there, but you need to choose what's right for you, okay? And your goal. So I'm going to marry this up. It's been really good doing this first episode. Uh, I'll tag everyone in this video so that you can actually go back and look. But it will be saved in the units area of this page. And tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of this first episode, okay? I'll see you later. Mamas and papas, mamas and papas. Mamas and papas, get it for your kids.